Hello everybody and welcome back to another new video on the channel. Today we're talking about the newest episode for One Punch Man. I do apologize if you hear anything in the background and it's because I just can't do anything about it. Uh, you know, I have people living with me and they're doing their own, you know, daily activities. And, you know, specifically my dad, he's got, I think he's got his subwoofers playing, kind of, and he's right next door to me. It's not like super loud, but it's like loud enough to where I can hear it. And I'm afraid, I was afraid for a good, like, few minutes that the microphone's gonna pick it up and I don't know if it is so if you do hear anything if you hear any you know sort of background noise I'm gonna go ahead and apologize in the beginning of the video in advance but we're not here to talk about that we're here to talk about the pretty kick-ass episode that was of the newest episode for One Punch Man and just I don't know I just thought it was it was really enjoyable with just you know the over top action I feel like we haven't seen uh, that we didn't really get to see all too much for some reason in the last episode. And even though the last episode was pretty over the top, I feel like they could have done a little bit more. You know, I was honestly expecting more, and they didn't. They didn't do more in the last episode with Saitama fighting Suryu. And it's like, yeah, I get it. It's Saitama who's fighting, and unless he's fighting against, you know, a god tier level enemy who doesn't die in one hit and actually can, you know, take more consecutive punches then you know of course that's not going to happen but i feel like there still could have been a little bit more that suryu Sur could have done especially because in this episode he's actually fighting a couple of monsters in this episode and he's putting up a fight sort of he gets his ass kicked in the episode actually so of course uh what ends, what ends up happening is the whole build-up of goketsu uh he finally shows up at the tournament after it's been announced that suryu you know won and is the champion again and i'm not sure if they had like said this at any point but goketsu is actually the previous champion for the tournament and he actually ended up losing to a monster and he ended up becoming a monster and he's significantly more powerful than what he was before and the whole point of why he's there as well as a couple other monsters and a couple other places in the world right now is because the monster association is looking for suitable candidates in order to be uh, to become monsters and whoever is strong enough to you know be on a like a dragon level tier or even close to a god level tier um you know, of course, they're going to be a part of the Monster Association, and they're going to help out and just go after the Hero Association, of course. And the entire time throughout, the, like, the entire episode, it doesn't really, you know, pan towards anywhere else. We actually do see uh, Garo in the episode, and he wa he fights uh, Watchdog Man uh, for, like, a good, like, few seconds, but then it goes back to, like, the main point of the episode, and that's Goketsu, and he's trying to have the martial artist there in the area you know basically you know become monsters you know because they're martial artists they could be potentially really really strong and some of them are actually kind of surprisingly really strong uh, uh bakuzan in the episode he actually eats uh, a whole bunch of of uh, the monster like cells or organs or whatever they are and, but and he, he ends up eating a lot of them and seemingly dies in the episode but he actually comes back and now he's like a dragon level threat if he is an official monster you know and uh, he's on the same tier as Goketsu but Goketsu is still like way stronger than him and Goketsu actually pretty much shows that in the episode he's still way stronger than Bakusan but Bakusan ends up becoming a monster in this episode and his whole purpose of wanting to become a monster was because you know, he realized that he wasn't going to be able to become stronger than Saitama. Uh, he wasn't ever going to be become stronger than Tsuryu. He had limits, you know. He had limits and he was never going to become stronger than any of these guys, you know. And he finally just had enough of it and he was like, you know what, I'm going to become a monster. Screw it, I'm going to become a monster. And he does that. And he beats the ever-living crap out of Tsuryu. He's like on the verge of death. And then, you know, the whole entire time, as, he getting, as he's getting his ass kicked, the whole time, you're just wondering, like, is he going to die? Are they actually going to kill him off? Like, what's going to happen? And then he actually does something very surprising. He does something very, very surprising. Uh, one thing I actually do want to say before I can say what it is, you probably already saw the episode, but uh, I liked how the, an uh, how the episode was animated. I think the animation was pretty good, uh, and at least from what I can tell. I'm not, like, an animation major or anything, so if the episode wasn't animated well, then of course let me know in the comments, but I thought it looked good, you know, I thought I thought some stuff looked really good, I thought it was animated pretty, pretty well, and the episode looked really good. Um, and I, I also think the performances for Suryu at the end of the episode was also done really well by 
the voice actor because at the end of the episode, Suryu is on the, on the verge of death. He's about to die by Bakuzan as a monster. Um, and he's calling out for a hero. He's calling out for a hero to go and help him because Bakuzan has a broken arm and he can't move. And he calls out for a hero, you know, and he can't do anything. He's just trying to, you know, get the hell out of there. And he can't. He just can't do it. And then, of course, Saitama ends up showing up to save the day, of course. Uh, he doesn't fight Bakuzan in the episode, but it's anticipated that we're going to see that next week because after the credits show, uh, there's no, like, after credits scene. There's It just, you know, cuts to... Uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> um, it just we have to wait until what we see next week I'm trying to fucking figure out a word I'm trying to use for a cliffhanger there you go that's the word I'm looking for Jesus Christ I had a brain fart there but um that's kind of the episode you know nothing else really happens besides that I think the action was pretty good uh, I think the performance from Sudius voice actor I don't know the name of his voice actor unfortunately but I think they did really good you know you could really hear the you know the despair and shock and and not anger but despair you know and like, like you can hear like the amount of fear in his voice i think it was done really well i mean granted most japanese voice acting is really good so i can't really ever really complain about voice acting from japanese anime or japanese dubbed anime uh, but of course i'm pretty critical of english dubbed anime if you've ever watched any of my dragon ball super uh dub reviews um you hear my opinions about that, of course, but that's besides the point. We had, we we're left off in a cliffhanger, and hopefully, we're going to be able to see more of Gato's fights, uh, especially with Watchdog Man, because Watchdog Man seems r stupidly powerful. He's a class S hero, and I knew he's going to be strong, but I was like, it's a guy in a dog costume. Like, how strong can he be? And then he actually kind of surprised me. And then, of course, we're going to see some cool shit, probably from Saitama fighting Bakuzan. It's going to be really cool. Um, I just wonder what else they're going to do in next week's episode and how they're going to end the arc uh, um, as well. Just I'm kind of interested. But that's besides the point. That's pretty much the end of the episode, which means that's the end of the video. If you did enjoy it before, for whatever reason, be sure to leave a like. And if you are new, subscribe for more videos just like this. Uh, I have another video in mind. I keep saying this a lot in a lot of my recent videos, but I keep thinking of more video projects that I want to do, more stuff that I want to talk about. And I kind of apologize for being like super busy recently because... Well, I'm not busy. I'm just playing The Witcher 3, and it's my first time playing The Witcher 3 and a Witcher game in general, so I'm kind of enjoying that and playing it, and maybe I'll talk about it because I actually kind of like a lot of mechanics about the game, but I don't know if it, I don't know if it's worth talking about it now since the game came out in 2015 and 2019. But E3 is almost around the corner, or it is around the corner, rather, and I'm pretty excited about that. So whatever games they announce... Of course, I'm going to make a video and talk about the stuff that they announced. And yeah, just really excited for what's going to be coming in the next like couple weeks or so. But anyways, that's besides the point. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day. I'm out.